Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new in today's video I'm going to be doing my pits and peaks for the week. I haven't done this video in quite a while. Um, basically the premise for the video is that I talk about my pits for the week being uh, things that didn't go so well for the week and my peaks for the week being things that went better this week. Uh, so that is basically what I'm going to be doing today just sort of starting afresh on that. Uh, so these will come out every Sunday for me to sort of talk about the week as a whole and talk about things that were my pits and my peaks, basically. Uh, I don't actually think I have many, um, if any, pits this week. I'm not really prepared with my list like I generally am. I will start to be prepared with that and I'll write the pits and peaks as they happen in my diary so that I've got that for reference uh, next week. Um... I guess my only pit for this week is that I am still getting over whatever this cold is. I uh, got sick just before Christmas um, and honestly it felt like Covid. I took a Covid test, it came back negative but I had all the sort of general symptoms that I had the last time that I had Covid except for the body aches and it has just taken so long to shift and I'm still sort of trying to get rid of it now. I still have a bit of like a phlegmy throat, um, still have a bit of a runny nose, so yeah, it's taking forever to get rid of this cold. And it is slightly affecting my running, it is harder to breathe um, and things like that, so that is making it a bit more difficult with my sort of reintroduction of running. Uh, if you're not following me on social media, you might not know that I haven't been running for quite a long time since, basically, since London Marathon, so... I have been trying to get back into running again, but it has been very difficult, um, both from like a standpoint of uh, my fitness having gone down since I've not been running for that long period of time. Um, and just generally because I am sick at the same time, so it is making things like harder. Uh, so that is basically it for my pits. I don't think I've got anything else sort of negative to talk about. Uh, so I guess I'll move on to the positives. Um, I, ha I am in a very, very good mindset at the moment. I have been um, really refraining myself, really being mindful of the food that I'm eating. I have been tracking fully since Wednesday last week and I have been on track uh, pretty much most days. I'll leave a screenshot of my NutriCheck here like I used to, um, just so you can see that. I think the, there has maybe been a couple of days. I'm filming on my phone because my camera is still broke, so I don't have it on hand for me to actually see what days. But as far as I'm concerned, I have had a really good this week, this week, and I hope that that continues and it's not just sort of a fluke. Um, so yeah, things have been going really well with that. I did have a good uh, experience in the shopping um, in the supermarket today. Generally, when I go to the supermarkets, because I do all my shopping sort of physically, uh, rather than it being online, there is that sort of uh, thing where you're walking about and you see something new and you figure you, you stick it in your trolley and you'll try it out. Um, I think you don't get that as much online. I just, I prefer to do my shopping physically rather than online, just because if there was any replacements and things like that, I want to be in charge of what replacements there are. Um, and yeah, it just generally gets me out of the house and things like that. So um, yeah, I was going around the supermarket today and I would generally pick like some something sweet to eat. I'd pick up something new to eat. Um, I am quite partial to Tesco's cheese twists. Um, so whenever they are around, I would usually pick one of them up. They haven't had cheese twists in Tesco's for quite a long time. Um, and they had them today and I didn't get any. <laughs> um, I think I got one very, very small um, little sweet, which was like a gummy thing, just because I was craving a bit of like chewy sweets. So I did get that to sort of um, stop that craving, but it was only like a small amount of calories and I've been tracking it all anyway. So I've been doing really good with that and I didn't pick up anything that I wasn't supposed to really pick up. Um, so that was good. That was a good shopping experience. Um, I have been running twice this week. I haven't been for my third run yet. Um, I am gonna do a video straight after this, which will go out tomorrow. Um, basically because I'm starting a new training plan for the Cambridge Half and the Burley Seven, which is coming up in March. So I'll keep an eye out for that. But I have been out twice, which is better than like what has been happening for the last couple of months where I haven't been running at all. Um, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I did the London Marathon. I got into like a post-marathon blues sort of phase and I haven't been running very much at all. I think I'd run four times in the last three months. 
and I'd sort of like run once and then I'd take a month break and then I'd run again and then I'd take a month's break. So the fact that I've run twice this week and I'm aiming for sort of a third run for the week is pretty good and I'm going to be starting on getting into an actual training plan for um, the Cambridge Half which is coming up in March. Um, so yeah, I am feeling really positive about that. I still need to include doing the gym sessions. I have got the treadmill and the gym all sort of tidied up so I do need to start including them and I haven't found a training plan yet. I think I'm just going to go back to what I know which is the Evolve app uh, which was previously Tone and Sculpt app and maybe find a training plan that suits or um, I think there's a trainer on there who's Melissa Kentender. I think that's how you pronounce the name. I'll leave it up here somewhere. But she is a runner, but she also does strength training and she has her own plan on that app. So um, it is sort of a good balance between cross training and uh, or strength training and running. So I think I'm, I might do that. Um, so hopefully I will start that next week. Um, I have been off sick from work. I have still been working from home, but I've not been in the office. So it is going to be a sort of test as to whether I still continue these good habits next week when I'm back in the office. Um, I guess we'll see with that. I am, like I said, in a really good mindset at the moment though. So I am hoping that that will continue next week. It, there's no reason why it shouldn't. Uh, the only thing that I'm gonna sort of have to juggle about is when I do my runs, which I think I'm gonna have to do early in the morning because I'm still at that point at the moment where I can't be I can't be bothered doing my runs in the evening and I sort of put them off and then end up doing them the next day um and um yeah that's pretty much it i have been really good with both my diet and my exercise this week so i'm happy with that i hope that improves next week um or continues next week uh but yeah that's pretty much it i don't think i have anything else to sort of say pits or peaks wise so i'm going to keep this very short and sweet because i'm sure there will be lots to talk about next week when i sort of compare between this week's so I'm going to end the video here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can always click the notification bell down below and you'll be notified of when my videos go live. Other than that, hope you're all staying safe and well. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your week, weekend, whatever it is that you're watching this. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye.